okay guys we are almost at the end of our vaccination uh, videos now we need to talk about the vaccine where we will be seeing the virus itself or the solution of virus itself is acting as a vaccine it's like the whole uh, bacterial virus type of vaccine so in this vaccine we will be seeing virus acting as a vaccine uh, or virus uh, suspension acting as a vaccine now in this case virus uh, we have taken the example is vaccinia which is uh, a dangerous virus we all know that the vaccinia uh, we need to go against vaccinia so we need to rise uh, immunity against vaccinia so we need to go against it right so the process we will be utilizing is recombinant DNA technology and also uh, it definitely is something to do with DNA of the virus so the DNA of the vaccinia virus we all know suppose so say this is the segment of our pathogen now in this case it's a very very important thing that we can go against this vaccine yeah? or say in this case we want to develop an immune response against another disease but we are taking vaccine yeah, cell a vaccine yeah, virus as a vehicle to deliver our desired dna inside the host cell so don't please don't merge these things up because vaccine, we can develop virus vaccine against this vaccine using this process. But in this case, most importantly, vaccine is acting as a vehicle. It is acting as a vehicle to carry DNA. Vehicle to carry DNA. And how we are making this vaccine to be a vehicle to carry DNA is using this D RDT or recombinant DNA technology. So what we'll do? Suppose this. Uh, suppose say this is a part of our pathogenic DNA segment or the viral D DNA segment, whatever for our different disease. Say disease D. Now this part we need to transfer to our host cell to develop uh, immune response against it, right? So this is not a vaccine. Uh, vaccine uh, viral part. Okay. Now what we are having here, we are having a vaccine cell. Now inside the vaccine cell, we are having the vaccine genome. Now in the vaccine genome, we are somewhere in the vaccine genome, we are having our promoter. Say this is the promoter sequence of vaccine, blue colored one. And there are also segments called the TK segments. So these green colored regions are the TK segments. But this blue colored thing is called the promoter. I, I write it uh, as small p or caps p, whatever, p. Okay, that it as a P is a promoter. So this is vaccine virus. Okay, now this virus is going to act as a vehicle to carry this gene, right? Because we need to incorporate this gene inside this virus. Now we need to put this gene right behind the promoter sequence of vaccine so that it can translate it, uh, sorry, so that it can uh, replicate it. And then it will do further functionality like transcription and translation to finally make different proteins which will play the important role. Okay, now how can we achieve that? Now we all know that the virus can only be active inside a living host. So otherwise it cannot be active. So we need to, if we need to combine this, two, this gene with the viral uh, gene, a uh, viral genome, we need to do it, uh, this experiment under in vitro condition under cell line. So what we will do, we will first incorporate this into this uh, DNA. Okay, so we will take it and put it into this uh, after the promoter of the virus, right? So first job is to put it in under the promoter. So we will put it first inside this promoter. Simply take this gene, put it inside the viral gene using recombinant DNA technology. So utilizing this recombinant DNA technology, what we can produce, so these are the TK regions. This is a TK, this is another TK region. In between there, somewhere is this, so here it is the promoter and rest of the part is the segment. Now what we'll do in using the RDT, we just swapping the segment and put this D or the gene of our interest in between this right beside the promoter so what we'll get after all after everything all this thing what we get is this right and also we'll be having this promoter right beside the promoter now we are having our desired gene right this red gene is incorporated and on the other hand this segment is released so this will be released 
so this is our desired vector or whatever say we this is our desired set of gene we require for the expression now we prepare this using rdt so the utilizing the molecular technique called recombinant dna technology simple cut and paste or cut and ligation using these strategies cutting using different enzymes endonuclease enzymes and also we are pasting it using ligase right ligase is a very important enzyme to paste different dna segments or to join different dna segments so using this uh, endonuclease and ligase we just cut it and join it to make this to make this uh, vehicle where we put our desired gene right beside uh, this promoter for the vaccinia virus now it is ready now what is our goal remember our actual goal is to transfer it our actual goal is to transfer this into the virus the vaccine of virus because whatever we have done till now is the gene is from the gene from vaccine of virus but it is not inside the virus because we cannot insert this gene inside the virus directly because virus will be inactive uh, when we uh, do it outside virus will be only active when we are doing all these things inside the host uh, cell so here let's say the host cell we take a cell line so this is a cell culture or cell line into the cell line so there are a lot of different cells inside these cells we transfect these cells with one of these so this is our vector 1 or one of this vector with this west uh, vaccinia virus so we also take the vaccinia virus so say this is the vaccinia virus with its genome so let's say this is its whole genome sorry change the color so this genome is this red so say so this is the virus this is its genome and now we incorporate both the things together so inside one cell in the cell culture we incorporate two different things one is this v1 which is we have just prepared using rdt techniques and this one which is v2 the genome 2 which is the gene of the vaccinia virus so this is again vaccinia virus okay now we put the virus not only dna actually not we, we not don't take this dna we take this whole virus actually we infect the cell with both them both of them now as a result of this infection what we get inside the cell so if we zoom in one of the cells so in one of the cells what will happen so if we look at carefully this vaccinia virus gene there somewhere we get the promoter of this virus and also tk regions surrounding these promoters both the directions right now what will happen it will get this particular gene it will get this desired gene now after incorporating or transfecting one cell with both of the type of dna this segment is swapped again and this virus is getting this red color gene so as it is getting this red color gene finally what we get this inserted into the virus now the virus will grow and burst out the cell and the virus will start to come out because now they start translating them because remember now a question must come in your mind now what we ultimately producing we ultimately producing this particular thing so here middle we are having the red now just before that we are having this promoter and the rest of the part is the tk region so we are having this so for question must come in your mind that if we require this gene so why not we replacing it at the very first place during here so that we, we don't need to do all these steps but the answer for that is this type of experiments what we have just did is very much host specific and also they require specific environment for the completion so we cannot transfer it very beginning inside the virus we cannot enter a dna directly into a virus dna like that what we can do we can extract out the dna from virus and then in vitro we can transfer it using rdt techniques just we have done uh, until this point now after we have, ma we have made this v1 or the vector 1 of our interest we need to put it back into a viral cell how can we put it back into the viral cell the only way of put it back into the viral cell is to transfect one cell culture or, or a type of cell 
host cell with both this V1 or the vector along with the virus. So we infect this cell with both the thing. One is this virus with, with this virus. Second one is with this gene. As a result what will happen? They will swap the segment between them and now what will happen? This DNA will be transcribed then translated to produce proteins. Now the proteins will again code the DNA and virus, small virus will start to emerge. Small virus will start to emerge. Now this small virus with their DNA which will contain our desired this D gene will be busting the cell out and all the viruses will come out. Now the virus with all of this virus which just come out must have this D gene inside it. Now this was our goal to insert this D gene into the viral vector and produce more and more viral, ve viral vector with this D gene. Then we use this virus which is not toxic anymore. We can use it for as a vaccine. We infect the, our host cell like human cell with it. As a result what it will do? It can give rise to the immune response and immunity. So this is a way of vaccination using this RDT technology using viral vectors. But again as we have seen in all these cases uh, what will happen that both the genes are coming, they are interacting, they are crossing over with each other and swapping of segment is happening all the cases. So it may possible that after some time when you inject it into a host like us, it will revert back into a viral form, a virulent form. Yes, the answer is yes, it, it can be possible. We need to take the risk but this happens very rarely but most of the time uh, proper kind of viruses are produced and we can utilize this virus in future to, to vaccinate others. Okay, so this is the basic way of producing it and we can't produce directly because we can't insert a DNA directly into inside a virus because virus can only be active under the environment or host cell. Now here the host environment is provided by this cell culture or the cell line onto which we are transfecting this vector 1 as well as the virus or vaccinia virus here in this case. Now Transfection means simply injecting the DNA uh, in, inside the cell. Okay, so this is the process of providing or producing this RDT based viral vector vaccines. Okay, so that's it. I hope this will help you. Thank you.